Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is about fixing the issue with GTA 5. After exiting the game, the game is not closing and you need to manually shut it down using a task manager or have to restart the PC else it keep on eating up your RAM. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. Let's start with the basic troubleshooting steps. Head over to this PC, from the left pane, click on the option documents, open Rockstar Games folder and open GTA V folder. Here you will find a file with the name settings. Just right click on it and here if you are using OneDrive, you will find the option of keep. I mean the issue is occurred, it is because your OneDrive is not synced with the cloud and that's why you are getting this particular error. So if you are using OneDrive, right click on this setting file and you will find the option of keep. Choose option keep else I recommend to completely uninstall the OneDrive from your system. To uninstall, right click on start menu, choose option run. Type here appwiz.cpl and then hit the enter key. Now over here you will find a OneDrive setup by pressing the O key. Select it and choose the option uninstall and check the issue of GTA 5 shutdown is still persists or not. If it is still there, let's proceed with the next step. First of all go ahead and launch the game. Now click on the option settings to open the settings of the game. Now in the left pane click on the option graphics. Now in this right pane. First of all, under the screen type, I recommend to either use Windows Borderless or Windows Mode. Secondly, scroll down and you will find the option of Pause Game on Focus Mode. Go ahead, turn it off. Once you have done so, hit Apply Changes. Now go ahead, restart your PC and relaunch the game to fix out the issue of GTA 5 won't shut down after closing the game. If this method also failed to work out, in next step, you need to uninstall all the modes present in the game. To do so, Head over to this PC and you need to open the game directory. At my end, it is in F drive, Rockstar Games, GTA 5. Over here, either you will find a folder with the name modes or else you need to find all the modes and delete them from a system. Modes are generally with the name vscript, dinput.dll, .asi extensions. And you are not known about the modes, you can simply take a screenshot of this particular video and verify the files. Any file except these files if available into your system, go ahead and delete all the files except the files that I am going to show you in this particular video. These are all the only files that are required by the GTA 5. And to be more cautious, before deleting any file, do a backup of all the files present by selecting all the files and copy them to somewhere else so that if by accident you deleted any system file, you can easily restore them from the backup. After deleting the mode, try to play the game again. If my tutorials are really helpful to you, I highly recommend to please purchase any future game right from this website whose link I will provide you in the description of this video. You can get the game at a lower price than the Steam or Epic Games and in turn this helps me to earn some kind of commission once you purchase the game using my link. The link I will provide you right in the description. So as a tweet gesture, please click on the link to download any kind of games into your system to support me onto my work and even it will help you to reduce the cost of the game. Now if you do not want to delete the mode or the issue is still persist, let's proceed with the next step. Right click on taskbar and choose option task manager. Right in this task manager, you will find a process with the name LG Hub, which is Logitech Hub. Right click and choose option enter. Simply closing the Logitech will completely fix out the issue. And to prevent future issues, launch the Logitech Hub, click on the settings icon and choose the option settings over here. Now over here, you will find the option of always start after logging in. Go ahead, uncheck this particular option, then close it. Now go ahead and launch the GTA 5 and one thing you should make sure that while running the game this Logitech hub is not running into a system or highly recommend to go ahead and uninstall this program because if this program is installed into your PC you keep on getting the error of GTA 5 not closing after the game. So simply select it and choose the option uninstall. Once it is successfully uninstalled, go ahead, close it. Now don't forget to restart your PC. One more thing friends, other than Logitech G Hub, there is another program which is Razer Synapses. If you have installed Razer Synapses, 
razor coma, cortex, any program of razor make sure you completely uninstall them from your system because these are also one of the major cause for the game to keep on running in the background even after closing the game and this will completely fix out the issue of GTA 5 won't shut down even after closing the game. So as of now this is all about it friends if this video works out for you I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.